Let me start over. I just sprayed the whole wrong spot on my lip. <laughs> Hello Fashion and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Temp2 airbrush system. Honestly, when I first opened it, I was a little intimidated because it looks really advanced, but it's a lot easier to use than it looks. Um, the first thing you want to do is you're going to pick out your color for your foundation. Um, the color that I chose was Honey and so they come in these little pod type things and you're going to pull this little black plastic cap off because that's what allows the makeup to flow through the system. When you're doing your face, um, you want to put it the trigger to about 3 o'clock. Now when you're spraying your face, you want to keep it about 4 inches away. So the trick that I use is, I mean you think about your hand is about 4 inches, so keep it about a hand's distance away. So you're going to do small um, circular motions. The biggest thing is learning how to use this trigger right here. Um, at first, I was a little trigger happy, so I was spraying a little bit too much out. So I would suggest, um, what I ended up doing is getting a little piece of tissue and spraying it on here so you can see the different levels. So as you spray it, you can see a little bit there. And if I pull it back a little bit farther, it comes out a lot stronger. So if you spray it too hard, then it's going to create a wet, blotchy look on your face. So you want to just barely pull it back. So as you're going, you're going to do the small circular motions. You don't want to go too fast either because that's going to create um, uneven coverage. So once you have your foundation on, um, you want to make sure and put that little cap back on because if you don't, it can dry out. And next I'm going to put on my blush. Um, the color that I chose is Pink Peony. Now it's kind of bright. Um, when I'm doing like pictures for my blog or if I'm going out for an event, I do a little bit more drastic makeup. Um, so my color for day to day is a little bit lighter, but for today's purpose, I'm gonna show you this just so you can see it well. Come in and do a light circular just right on your cheeks. Just kind of like a round apple shape right here. Um, the nice thing about this too is you can also use it as a lip color. It's a great lip base. So um, I'm going to turn it down a little bit, a little bit below three, and I'm going to come in close and just put a light base around my lips. Next we have our highlighter. Highlighting is probably like my favorite part of makeup, just because you can create so much dimension with, um, with a highlighter. So this color that I have is champagne. And there's gonna be three spots that we're gonna highlight. So I'm gonna highlight my brows right here, and then I'm gonna do the corner of my eye and then around my lips to create a fuller lip. So first I'm gonna do my brow bone, and that just creates so it looks like you have a higher arch. And then next you're gonna do right here, this creates, um, it makes your eyes pop. So you just do a little dot right here, and then your cheekbones. So if you wanna create like, exaggerated like sharp cheekbones you'll go through here up kind of shaped around your eye and then we're going to come in close to do the lips so I'm going to go around the top of my lip there and then right here I'm not going to do right here because you want that to actually be more of a shadow so that it creates depth like your lips are coming out So now you have your flawless, complete look. It's so nice because it's actually waterproof, so if you're in like a humid area and you're worried about your makeup smudging, it sets really well. Um, if you're going swimming, going to the beach, it's all, it's gonna stay. It lasts all day. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. I'll be answering any questions you have about it. And thanks so much for watching.